Hi guys, we're here today to test the capabilities of the Sony a7S and the Nikon D4S. And more importantly, how they perform at high ISO levels. So without further ado, let's begin. First up, the Sony a7S. This is a 12.2 megapixel full frame mirrorless camera that runs on Sony's Bion's X image processor. This gives it a sensitivity range of ISO 50 to 409,600. And it uses the entire width of the image sensor for video capture giving it the ability to capture 4K video if paired with suitable recorder. The D4S on the other hand is Nikon's latest flagship camera. It has a 16.2 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor and uses Nikon's Xspeed 4 imaging engine for blazing fast performance. While the base ISO range of the D4S is just 100 to 25,600, this is expandable to 50 to 409,600, making a good candidate for today's comparison. To test the video capabilities of both cameras, we've set them up together at the same spot and run them for a 20 second span on each ISO setting. As you can see, video from both cameras is very clean. The D4S seems to expose about half stop darker than the A7S. Move up to ISO 12800 and the video still looks good on both cameras, with perhaps a touch more noise in the shadows. Hmm, starting to see a lot more noise here. Still, both cameras are doing a decent job of holding detail in the image. Details are starting to fall apart here. The lines on the road seem a tad sharper on the D4S, while the noise seems slightly better controlled on the A7S. Okay, starting to move into crazy territory here. The D4S seems to be underexposing mightily to preserve highlights with plenty of noise evident. While the A7S is doing a better job of maintaining exposure, you can see that it too is losing detail. We don't really see how this would be usable footage, as the noise has rendered things into mush on the D4S. The A7S is doing a much better job here though, at least maintaining some structure in the footage. Finally, the promised land. Well, not quite. There's so much noise in both cameras that the videos captured are more like watercolour paintings than video. Still, if you really need to get footage and there's minimal light, the A7S is the one we go with. Now that we've established a reasonable upper limit for ISO on these cameras, let's see how they perform in a practical application. A live performance setting with low lighting and strobe highlights seems an appropriate test here. So let's see how these cameras go. Looking at a close-up of this image, both cameras do a good job at preserving detail, and more importantly, the form of objects in the scene. The writing on the back is clearly visible, and you can make out the eyelashes on the singer easily. Here's where things start to get a little dicey. The words are still holding up pretty well, and you can still make out details in the mic and her bracelet. Okay, a lot more noise at this point. Chroma noise is showing up on her clothes, and the writing on the back is starting to lose its form. At this point, the photos are starting to look more like watercolour paintings. Still, the D4S seems to be doing a better job at holding the lettering on the backdrop together. Just for fun, here's what you get if you have images at ISO 102400. Noisy! Can you believe that just a few years ago, this is probably what you might have got at ISO 6400? Well, that's it for a low-light comparison. To us, the Sony A7S performed slightly better at high ISO levels, while the Nikon D4S offered better response when shooting stills. So what do you think? That's all for us for now, and we'll see you next time.